I wonder how much it's gonna weigh. There's a lot of other gear that are supposed to be uh, assembled before you put it on the rails. But uh, I can't lift it down there. And uh, since I'm gonna assemble a lot of heavy stuff to it, I, I need to uh, talk to some of my neighbors I think I'm going to make a workbench out of this. Put some, a couple of boards on this top and uh, shelves in here. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use this as a post in the front for, for the roof yeah, just looked out the window now it's snowing again. I'm not really into that. Let's see tomorrow. Yeah, it's still bitterly cold in the wind. But fortunately, it's gone down today. It's been stormed for two days. I want to get this started. And, uh, now I got fuel and I got oil and I just need to assemble the last bits and tighten up everything and I should be ready to go. Maybe not today but tomorrow so I can get the lumber for the roof. I like the scales, magnetic. Now I just want to find out if I'm going to use the yellow or the white. I think the yellow is uh, counting in an eighth of an inch for drying, planing and so, I mean, yeah. And I think this one is... It's the right dimension on one inch, including the blade. So yeah, I'll read about that later. Hi, Pilar. I'll try to roll a lock on top of the mill. Yeah, first lock. It should have been last night, but uh, but it, it got too dark. I made these. I, I made a little notch in these so they fit on the tracks. Huh. 
time to fill on fill with oil and securing the tracks to the platform so it won't move around when I'm uh, getting locks on top of the bunks. Hope I remembered everything. Let's see if we can if it uh, if it will start. That was the first cut. Hey Mimi! <laughs> Look at this! That's brilliant! Yeah, the, uh, the two trees I've taken down, yeah, the bit that I left there is going to be a post for the roof. This one is going to be, and that one's going to be beams to hold up the roof. So, yeah, let's uh, get to work.
Needs the gym. <laughs> Ten meter. a new one this is so thin so when I push uh, push at it or put pressure on it it bends but I'm still waiting but I just be a bit gentle with it I like this Bismillah.
have to be inventive. got my saw back so I was about to sharpen the chain but uh, I couldn't remove the sword so uh, yeah new nuts and new bolts and one new bolt Bought this real cheap chain sharpener and it's working perfect. Sharp chains, cut straight, everything's good and it costs ne next to nothing. Oh, <laughs> oh,